to honor them. And I think our city needs that today, don't you? So thank you, Rana God Godbon is usually here. She's your president of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. Rana, I'll be your voice today. <laughs> so welcome. Um, we're so happy that everyone could be here. We have a great celebration ahead. A lot of great guests are here. It's your Hollywood Walk of Fame ceremony. I want to give a shout out also to everyone watching on our live video stream presented by our media partner, and that is Variety. Um, today, Hollywood officially honors Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. with the 2,686 star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Before we invite him up to the stage, let me tell you about our honoree. I know we already know all this stuff, but it's super impressive to hear it all together. And I'm gonna love saying it. 50 Cent, born Curtis James Jackson III, an award-winning rapper, entrepreneur, actor, and producer, and great guy from Queens, New York. <laughs> Recognized as one of the most talented and prolific music artists of his time, the Grammy Award winner rose to fame with his record-shattering debut album, Get Rich or Die Tryin', and has since sold more than 30 million albums worldwide. We all know he's an exceptional businessman. He serves as CEO of G-Unit Records, which he founded in 2003 and has since signed a host of multi-platinum artists. 50 continues to dominate the charts with hits like the recently released Still Think I'm Nothing, and he's continuously recording new music. 50 has carved out a thriving television and film career as both a best-in-class producer and star. In 2005, he founded G-Unit Films and Television, which has produced a wide variety of content across numerous platforms and sold a myriad of shows to a bunch of networks. Among these is Power, which premiered in 2014. In October 2018, 50 and Stars Lionsgate closed an unprecedented deal. I remember reading about this in the press uh, for his G Unit Film and Television Incorporated. Now, the deal will focus on expansion of the power universe through new scripted, non scripted feature, gaming, and interactive content. The series finale of Power airs Sunday, February 9th at 8 p.m. on Stars. We're all tuning in. He's also developing a number of new projects, including Intercepted and Trill League at Stars and the series For Life, which will premiere just next month, February, on ABC. Additional credits include the variety show 50 Central on BET and The Oath, that's on Sony Crackle. 50's successful film careers included roles in several blockbusters, including Den of Thieves, Southpaw, and Spy. 50 has supported many charities, including New York Restoration Project, Shriners Hospitals for Children, Feeding America, UNICEF, and many, many others. He's the founder of G-Unity Foundation, which focuses on improving quality of life for low-income or undeserved communities by supporting nonprofit organizations that concentrate on the academic enrichment of children and supporting after-school activities. I also want to thank 50 Cent. My toddler son learned Candy Shop, and those are the first song of all lyrics he ever learned. And he would do it in the back seat in the car seat all the time. It is my pleasure to welcome Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. Before we hear from 50, we have two guest speakers. They're going to say a few words about our honoree. Our first speaker today is currently Managing Director of Legendary Global and the former CEO President at STARS. He brought 50 to STARS and Greenlit Power, which allowed 50 to bring to life the network's number one show of all time and also kick-started his extremely successful TV career. Please welcome to the stage, Chris Albrecht. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What an honor. Uh, and an honor for me to be here, and this is a great honor for a man well-deserved. A few years ago, as then president and CEO of STARS, I was walking into a meeting to meet with Courtney Kemp and Curtis Jackson to hear the pitch for the Power Series. 
Uh, and I was excited because I was a fan. I mean, I was meeting a global music and movie star, uh, a legend already. And, and as I heard the pitch, I thought to myself, well, this is going to be a pretty good TV show, but what are we going to do with all the shows out there? How are we going to break through? How are we going to make a lot of noise? And it was almost as if this guy was a mind reader, because I just glanced over at him, and I looked in his eyes, and those eyes said back to me, I got this. And he had it. Let me tell you, that was just the beginning, right? First and foremost, he was our leader. He was the keeper of truth, of authenticity, of, of, of real. And as the script started to come in, I could see the show was going to be on the page great. And then as the daily started to come in, I was getting really excited. And I thought, this guy can really act. I mean, more than anybody, I knew it was a TV show when I was scared of Kanan. And, and by the time the seconds, and then when it, when it, when it came time to premiere the show, he, that's where he really delivered on, on that look because the genius of him as a marketer, as a social media expert with the millions of fans, he reached out and let the world know that there was something worth coming to stars for, and that was a show called Power. And as the second season blew up, I thought to myself, this guy can do something none of his peers have been able to accomplish yet. He can build a major television production company, for real. And I wanted to be a part of that, and I came to him and we were able to make a deal, and the rest is going to be history. I mean, already power's still on, two power spin-offs, one including Young Kanan, sorry 50, not a role in there for you, and uh, BMF in the wings, you heard about the, the series at ABC, and that's just the beginning. Um, I, I think this is the beginning of a road that we're going to be traveling on for a long time. Because this guy is able to accomplish whatever he sets his mind to for several simple reasons. He's a brilliant artist. He's a brilliant businessman. He's the consummate professional. He's a great partner. He is the real deal. Curtis, thank you for letting me a party, be a part of your history. I'm forever grateful. Congratulations on this honor. Many more to come, pal. I love you. Thank you. All right, before we continue, we have a few celebrities here with us today, as you saw enter. And you do not have to hold your applause. <laughs> Joseph Sikora is here. Dre is here. Lala Anthony. All here to support our honoree. And before we introduce our next speaker, I'd also like to give a shout out to the chairperson of the board of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, president and founder of the Hollywood Museum and vice chair of the California Film Commission, Donnell Dadigan. Also, Jeff Zaranem, the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce Foundation chair. And we don't want to forget our president, Rana Godbun. <laughs> All right, and a special shout out to the LAPD. Thank you for always supporting and being here. The Hollywood Walk of Fame. Now, are you ready for our second guest speaker? <laughs> Over the course of his career, our next speaker has sold more than 130 million albums and 389 million singles worldwide. He was Nielsen SoundScan's top selling artist of the 2000s. 32.2 million albums sold in that decade in the U.S. alone. And in addition, he was also named Billboard's Artist of the Decade for the same period. He has won 15 Grammy Awards. He has won an Academy Award. His 2010 album, Recovery, was the first album in the U.S. to ever go platinum worldwide. His most recent album, Music to be Murdered by, was released this month and debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 Albums chart. Please welcome to the stage Eminem. Okay, so, hold on, I wrote something down. I wrote this, I wrote this, but I didn't memorize it, so I gotta read it off the, the paper. I just wrote this last night, so just bear with me. Um, so check it out. Of all the things that 
I don't remember about 2002. <laughs> I have a very clear memory of the first time I met 50. Um, and I think one of the things I noticed when he, when he first walked into the room was his presence, right? Because it just kind of felt like he's gonna be a star. Like just his, the way he carried himself, swagger, everything, like, I don't know. It just seemed like he was the whole package. Yeah. And what's crazy about it to me is his, the, the, the charisma and the personality like matched, everything matched the intensity of his music. You know, and that first album is so classic. And the first time I met Fifth, I, I was, you know, so excited to meet him. So I was just like, I started rapping all his songs to him <laughs> and I didn't really let him talk. You know, and uh, I kind of was trying to show him like how into him I was, right? But I think I might have probably overdid it. <laughs> um, but at this time, 50 was like, at this point, I had considered myself driven, right? Until I met him, and I was like, yo, this guy, he was putting out mixtapes, it seemed like every single week there was another mixtape. He was taking other people's beats and he was destroying them, right? Yeah! Whoa, so, is the future. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so check it out. I just, I knew that the, the dude sitting in front of me, sitting across from me was just different, right? It just seemed like, I don't know, man. Something just, something about him just drew you in and I think Dre and me knew that if it was gonna work, if it worked on us, that it was gonna work on the rest of the world. And I'm glad we trusted our instincts. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, so as we're leaving that meeting, me and Dre were talking and 50 was walking away and Dre leans over to me and he's like, yo, you think, <laughs> You think that limp is permanent? You should ask him. And I was like, well, I gotta ask him. And we're glad it was not permanent. <laughs> and um, I just wanna say, man, I'm, I'm here today because this is not only like a business partner to me, it, it, it's one of the best friends I've ever known in the world and I would say that it's much more fun to be his friend than it is to be his enemy. Cause this guy is fucking relentless. And he won't stop. And the same way that he's relentless in his battles, he's also relentless in his business. He's an artist, an entrepreneur, an actor a director, a producer, he can juggle, he's great at Scrabble, he pretty much does it all. And he's also helped me through a lot of hard times in my own life, and he's always been there when I need him. So 50, congrats on your star, man. Hollywood is making official what I knew from the beginning and Dre knew from the beginning. Thank you. All right, I want to now welcome to the stage a friend of the Walk of Fame, our Los Angeles City Council member, Mitch O'Farrell. Thank you. Someone just said it. 50 is the future, and the future is now. I first of all want to thank uh, the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce for providing this space for fans across the world to come to one location and celebrate their number one star, the best dressed star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. It's all been said, but making multiple investments that have shown you are as powerful off the mic as you are on it. Along the way, never forgetting to use your platform to give back. 
Your G Unity has helped improve the quality of life for communities by supporting nonprofit organizations that concentrate on the academic enrichment of children and supporting after school activities. This star today is not a conclusion by any measure. It is a milestone and a remarkable career. On behalf of the city of Los Angeles, we all want to congratulate Curtis 50 Cent Jackson for an amazing career. We look forward to what you have in the future for all of us and welcome to the historic Hollywood Walk of Fame. On behalf of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, we now declare today, this day, January 30th, is Curtis 50 Cent Jackson Day in Hollywood. And it is now finally time to hear from our honoree, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. Oh. I didn't know, wait, I had a, I prepared a speech, but something must have happened to it, because the pages are blank. <laughs> Michael Blackson is here. It's the little things I borrow from them, you know what I mean? Like, I, I want to say this first, I'd like to thank God for, for being here, for being able to to, to be a part of this, and um, I'd like to thank uh, both M and Dre. You know, I, I don't think, I don't honestly think my career would have been what it was without their support. You know, like, Dre's a, a mentor for, for the whole squad, really, like, because he's been doing it long before that, 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 was able to guide us in different ways without even knowing that he's doing it at points. I just watch him. When he go like this, You know you got something, you know? <laughs> this is for real, this is the real deal. Now, time, time, you know, it, it, it did different things to me that um, not everyone goes through the same experience. And um, I, um, I didn't invite Jimmy Alvin and he should be here. We needed the money <laughs> for, for any of this shit to work. And Jimmy was the support and did it. For me, and you know what? It was just one conversation that we had, and I thought like he misinterpreted some of my actions, and he and he said to me, y "You know, I don't like you." <laughs> and and I just kept him right there for the whole rest of my life. Like it was like that guy just does not like me, <laughs> you know. Like and you know, I've said things that about even about Jimmy that I didn't mean, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know why I felt like he didn't like me the same way ever since he said that to me, you know? And I, um, you know, I'm, I, was, I was wrong for not inviting him and having him here today because he's a big part of the success that I've had. Even uh, he said, he told me in the conversation, he told me, um, I don't know, maybe, and he pointed at the TV. And when he pointed at the TV is when I started thinking I should do film and television, maybe. I'm dead serious. This really happened. This really happened. Yo, look, 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 look. It's different things. I have, I have people that I work off of, right? I don't necessarily have people. Everybody that I use for energy, I use Top, right? And his squad, his whole crew. That energy that they create, like, you got, you got to have other people. When you see them, when they have that thing, that thing that M was talking about, that, that him and Dre recognized when they saw me, I, I can see it in other people too. 
You know, like I, I knew when when they had the uh, swimming pools record for for Kendrick, and Top was like, "Yo, what you think?" Because I had so many hit records, so he was just asking, "What you think?" And I said, "That's it." What what, what you waiting for? And then the record came out, and all of y'all like that shit. <laughs> Everybody, I said, "See, Top, I told you." You know, and as far as the film and television piece, like as I started to work and uh, and make things happen there, like uh, um, it's just you gotta just do shit. Like I wasn't trained to do that. I just got involved. I, I, I tried to do everything I could to learn the information about it, and then um, I, I met with Mark Canton. Mark put me with Courtney, and Courtney Courtney Kip is underrated. Trust me. She's, she's, she's tough, man. Like, you know, like, yeah, yeah, that's what she got, that animal ambition. She, she, she kind of put that entire thing together. You know, I could give her the information because she's like from Connecticut and shit. <laughs> but, but after I gave her the information, she put it all together and, and made the project something that I could work to make a success because like in the, f the first season, I was getting paid like seventeen thousand dollars per episode. I get paid more to go to the nightclub and just wave, <laughs> right? But I said, let me get these people pregnant with my idea. Didn't tell them I don't like this relationship. <laughs> maybe they'd be invested, maybe. <laughs> and uh, it worked out perfect. You know what I mean? It came around. I um. I look forward to, it's funny because I, I told him I felt like this was a, a, a Lifetime Achievement Award for me. And it's because I didn't receive a lot of awards according to the success of the music. You know, like, like uh, I got the highest, the largest first album, debut hip hop album in hip hop. And you got the largest debut hip hop album, and you don't got no best new artist yeah. trophy. The best new artist, they gave that shit to Urban Essence. Can you find fucking Urban Essence? <laughs> Mike, I ain't seen the Urban Essence since that night, Mike. <laughs> since the night they gave him the trophy. <laughs> That's Don Magic Wand with the green and the gold. What's up, Pepper? How the fuck they don't never take him to jail, Dre? <laughs> you know the motherfucker pimping. No, I'm, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Look, but I want this to be as exciting for you as it is for me. I, uh, I had a conversation earlier today. Mary J. Blige, she she uh, called to congratulate me for the uh, getting the, the star in the Walk of Fame, and I told her I was nervous, and she was like, "What are you nervous about?" Like, you know, like. And she was like, um, I said, just because it's starting to feel really important because of who's coming, you know? And It's, this is a different experience. I've been there at the war shows, and when you win at the war shows, there's some people there that feel like they should have won. Like, you know, so you're like in a room with people. It's important because to be with your peers and, and kind of feel that like energy, but, you know, this one is different because everybody is in the same space. Everybody feels the same way about it, you know. And, Yeah, I just want to say thank you, man. Thank, thanks for supporting me. Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We proudly welcome to the Hollywood Walk of Fame, 50 Cent. It's now time to unveil this beautiful star.
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we proudly welcome Curtis 50 Cent Jackson to the historic Hall of Walk of Fame. Alright!